it was a little late for a sound check at that point, so that one's on me. Punch. Oh my god, we're going punch here. Dire team okay, uh, Pwn Pudge? Offline? DNZ Pudge? Emperor Pudge? Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna. See, sorry, guys. We're not gonna see techies or anything. It's not like we're playing wings, and that didn't work out for him at TI either. But the winner of this, uh, the winner of this, if Virtus Pro do wind up winning, they'll move on to the tiebreaker. A little OD love there. Respect to the low mana pools and respect to just a strong mid. So congrats to friends, Elements Pro Gaming and Vegas Squadron. They are moving on for groups A, B, and D, respectively. We got one more, one more thing to hash out here. One more set to hash out. Remaining. Possibility of an axe getting picked up here. Ramsey's Morphling's gone. And of course, General standing in from Navi. It's uh, Navi's got some off time. They stood in. Uh, who did they stand in for yesterday? Uh, Dendi stood in mid Timber Saw. I saw that game. Ten seconds remaining. They're just kind of like uh, free agents, so to. S no, let's put it this way. They're kind of like free agents for the next couple of days, as far as standing in. They got some free time on their hands. Right, so a lot of mids getting banned out on the VP side. Team with the potential for an IO going on there. This kind of looks like Alchemist. There's oh. there's potential for an Alk here. You're getting a lot of strong mids that will absolutely thrash you and set up a lot of combos to kill an Alchemist early mid game. Mostly early game before he hits level 6. And then you also have an IO kind of watching out for you too. Once again guys, if you're watching in game, you can join us on twitch.tv slash beyond the summit. This is my... Not the best debut for me, but we'll get through it. Five seconds remaining. And so Jug's out. Ramsey's a Jug as well. So level up or banning out a lot of safe lane support action here. Meanwhile, Verse Pro going for the mids. Verse Pro really want to win that mid. It really kind of says I want Alchemist, but do they want to pick it so early? There's potential for a Husker here, but not so much with IO. Okay, this might be... Is this going to be Ramsey's Warlock? Carry Warlock in the mid? We might see it, guys. We've seen it before. Let's see, actually not too long ago. I mean, they have used Warlock support-wise, too. They have used them. Solo did rock Warlock uh, yesterday, actually, against F5. Won that match. And actually, both games in that match, 2-0. They did rock him. Reserve time. You want to make a quick, the quickest drinking game you could ever play, use Twitch chat and just take a shot every time, literally every time that someone says Waga. You'll be dead. You'll be literally clinically dead in 30 seconds. Ooh, okay. Thing, the plot thickens a little bit. Cold Storm. Mm, magical damage pretty high on the level upside right now. How can we deal with it? Well, we don't really... If it is going to be a support solo, which it probably will be now that I think about it, there's not really a whole lot of room here. I mean, you pretty much have to just go ahead and go with the... Just go ahead and go a little more defensive on the raindrops and stuff like that. Just hope for the best, really. I will be able to pull out some, some saves, but, I mean, honestly, when you get a... When you get a Storm Spirit gank in you fairly early on, you get a Pudge, get a Cook into you, I mean, the really good chance of you getting saved, it's really not there. I mean, you can get the tether save, but by then, if you've gotten hit by a pure damage hook or a decent amount of ball lightning damage, I mean, it's not looking good for saves at this point. And of course, you got the the oracle's gone. You can't get the disruption purge because SD's gone. This is, I mean, Dazzle Husker with <laughs> now. Nah, okay, there we go. Well, there's the tiny. We kind of kind of stopped talking about that for a little bit. Now the tiny comes out. Are they going to bring him mid as a combo, though? I mean, they, they kind of caters to it a little bit. They have banned out a lot of mids. Offlane slaughter for Capone. Take a quick look into my notes here. He tends to go a little bit more defensive items. Uh, he has a tendency to rush Greaves a little faster than some offlaners will. We'll see what he winds up doing uh, this game. Like some some slaughter players might opt to go for 
you know, just go ahead and get the, the blink, the four staff, and f- go fairly squish, maybe even tranquil boots time. at most a poor man's shield or something to help you out. And that makes you fairly squish if things don't work out after you initiate. A little bit more on the defensive side. And now for your carry on level up. Well, you've got tons of lockdown. Holy crap, you have lockdown for days. Your physical damage is up. Your magical damage is pretty intense as it is. We might see a few extra kills from their Kunkka, mainly just because of the the damage amp giving them a, a nice Tidebringer cleave. Might see a little bit more in the kill column for him in this game. And Dork Seer's out. Okay. Radiant team that doesn't really seem necessary. They've already got their offlaner. I mean, it's a night. There's some sweet synergy here. I mean, everybody would benefit uh, insanely from Surge and Ion Shell. It would just be an awkward offlane. Maybe a roaming slard. It would be really weird. Remaining. The roaming potential for level up is just off the freaking charts. BP are a gank squad right now. This is makes a lot of room for a slark. There's potential for that. Uh, most of these, I mean, the IO ain't, ain't the. You could tether away from. Okay. You can tether away from the leash. And a bit. Okay, and they banned a timber. That kind of makes me think I'm, the slark's coming here. It will help with the the essence shift physical damage coming out from that a little bit more too, and the, just the, the insane amount of lockdown mid game action that they got going on their ability to rush early. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Omni's coming out. All right, so we got repel action now, and considering that very little except for say the rock is going to actually go through magic immunity, this is going to make things a little more frustrating. Everything that their tiny could pump out. Is going to be blocked. Remaining. It's actually a pretty big, pretty big pick here. But where are the lanes going to go? I mean, safe lane, uh, safe lane, slard mid storm, and then Reserved. everyone else roams with maybe an off lane. But it's just like, who's going where? Level up or just this is totally unorthodox. I mean, given the fact that they're pretty much out of the running, they're in experimentation mode at this point. They're the only team that's pretty much out of the running for the playoffs at this point Axe. in this group. So they're going to go with the Axe on Virtus Pro. Pretty solid lineup here. Hmm. I like the late game potential for VP, that's for sure. All right, quick pause while we get in here. You get your starting lineup for VP here. General was on your standing in on your Beastmaster last game. Had a couple sweet roars, including the one that picked off Waga right about here while they were defending their last tier two tower against Aegis. That's worth mentioning. Now uh, I got Solo. Was on the. I don't remember what he was on last game. Uh, he'll be on the Warlock this game. Lil was on the Visage last game. Had a good run. I think Solo was on the Witch Doctor. Uh, Lil's going to be taking the IO this time. Ramsey's was on the Drow Ranger. It's going to be more of a carry axe kind of thing here. So we'll see how that pans out. And then finally, no one seems to be a mid-tiny. Mid-tiny with the IO combo, pretty much with a whole bunch of mids getting banned out. And once we get everybody in for level up, I'll go ahead and get you started. In the meantime, let's get some more music for you.
30 seconds to battle. All right, we're back, guys. So finally, we're going to have Ramses on the axe right here. We're going to have no one on your mid-tiny being backed up by... Looks, it seems to be Lil on the IO and Solo giving a little bit of a hand here too. And we're also going to have, uh, have General on the Beastmaster. He had a sweet game. Sweet, sweet game with your uh, Beastmaster. He's all set up. He's good to go. Finally, Emperor on your Kunkka. Waga is going to be on your... Where are you going? Okay, try offlane Slard. Cole's going offlane? What's going on here, folks? Mid Omni Knight? What the hell is happening? Okay, we're still going to see a mid Slard with Omni Knight back up. An offlane move into the safe lane Pudge solo. What the hell is happening here, guys? And so first, <laughs> all right. So no one squaring off with Waga. This is actually not a terrible setup for you know. You dive in if you can survive the as long as you're not hitting your sprint at the right. As long as you get your sprint, uh, it's not on. You're on your cooldown for it or something like that, or it's just not on. You won't take the extra damage. Should be able to tank the the combo and should be able to counter with a nice crush and set up a nice counter initiation. VP need to win this in order to get in the running. There is a three-way tie up for grabs here that Verse Pro can get in on and potentially move on. No, no. And so this is actually a tough lane for Pudge. You've got to deal with the Caustic Finale. They're probably going to wind up rotating this out a little bit, and he's taking even more damage. Lil's here to help him out. They've got the slow. A few more extra clicks. Caustic Finale. DNZ's here to help out, but I don't I think it's going to be enough. The pop, Okay, he pops the Sav, emergency Sav, will save the day. Puts him up back up to about a third. He's going to go back in for another round, but he gets Burrow Struck again. Another Purification, but it's only level 1, only 90 heal, and it's just not enough to keep him going. Looks like Verse Pro might be picking up second blood as well as first. Going on DNZ, he has no mana to do this. Two mana to go! Just not enough, not in time. Pwn's going to come in. Does he have a hook? No, he's still level 1. He's just got rot. Might be able to slow down General, but... Oh, he just picked up level 2. Off of that creep. Hooks him in. Might get a second kill on General. He's exhausted. He's already Burl struck away, but he's out of rot range. If he can just get one more hook, it's coming off cooldown. Juki time, folks. Juki time. Is it going to happen? Nope. Reinforcements are here. Will says no. Not going to happen. So all things considered, things could be a little worse for Waga. Doing squaring up against no one pretty well here. He's got an invis rune ready to go. Still got his two tangos. No one's actually going to need some love from Lil here. That's kind of what they were originally planning on with their this draft, it seems. But they're just going to be. Let's put it this way: they're they're just bullying this bottom lane. And well, up top, this is Cole needs levels. This seems a little weird. Cole needs a little more levels a little faster than this. That's why you do a storm mid. You get the levels. You get level 6. You start ganking. You have your escape ability, but you do have a ton of magical damage coming out here against Ramses. But they're not really doing anything with it. Looks like the bottle's on the way for no one, and he needs it. He needs it bad. I don't think we have any crushes yet. We do have sprint, but he makes it to the tower. He's going to get himself out of there. Close call. Close call. Once again, guys, if you want to join... Oh! Oh. Not quite. Free uh, free creep kill. Not going to be able to pull that one away. They're going to go on Pwn yet once again. DNZ is here to help, but unfortunately... Well, he's got the Repel, but... Okay, he's going to get the heal off first. Then the Repel. Burrow Strike won't do anything anymore. They'll turn it back around. It also means his Rod is not going to slow him or do any damage. But the Caustic Finale does go through that. They're going to dive deeper on the tower. Tower is no longer hitting. And they're just going to just... Got him sandwiched here. There's, they're bringing an Emperor, but that's not going to be enough. They're going to get one for one, though. This carry Pudge is just not working out here. Oh, Big Tether! Holy shit, Big Tether from Lil. Commend that catapult for holding in position. Emperor is now kind of left to... He's like, well, well, now what do I do? Kind of kind of asked out here. We'll see what goes on. All right, so three kills picked up early on. This is a lot more intense than before. Cole, I mean... This is a lot of magical damage, but he's dealing with a very health, healthy Ramses here. Gonna get the pure spins off. Trying to stay out of range. But yeah, cutting the lane for days, so... They've got so many emergency situations they have to deal with here. 
I mean, they're losing both top and bottom simultaneously. They just can't bring enough resources to bear on any one lane to make the difference. Lil keeping himself alive there with a sweet tether. And unfortunately, that's going to leave no one kind of out to dry on the mid. So that does give Waga a little bit more on the... A little bit more of an edge here. Last hits are about the same, but he's holding his own. But now we've got a haste rune available. Boots are on the way. Solo really hasn't had to do anything. He's just kind of hanging out. General moving down. This tower is almost gone already. This is just it's looking grim. This isn't even a push strat, guys. At least not in the in the early game. You still got the rock. You still got Tiny's uh, Aghanims later. There's a lot of push power there, but not right now. They're still doing a ton of tower damage. Moving up. Looks like they might want to make a move on Ramses here. DMZ just getting some wards up. Try to figure out what's going on. They're going to see it, they're, so they're going to take that up fairly quickly with this ward right here. Boom moving up, but yeah, they see him coming a mile away. They're not even smoking across the river. So they saw that a mile away. Ramses will get himself out of there. We'll make some space for this top tower. But it's uh, going to be a pretty expensive cost. I can't blame Level Up for grouping up at this point, though. They are struggling so much. So Cole, level, I mean, we're six minutes in and we're position one Storm Spirit, essentially. Oh, man. Lifting him up, dropping him down. Waga didn't have his sprint on at the time. He will survive it. Gets the crush up on two and manages to get himself out of that upheaval. DNZ will come in, but he takes the entire upheaval. <laughs> the, the repel went to Waga, not to him. He is so slow, and there's a linger on that too, making it even worse for him. Just the confidence that Virtus Pro have in this lineup, in this matchup against Level Up right now, the ability this, to just go ahead and go in whenever you want. You know, not even worrying about tower rotations. Meanwhile, General has picked off the bottom tower. First drone, first stone drawn for Virtus Pro. Looks like I got my caster legs under me here, guys. Sorry about that rough start. Alright, so four on one up top, potentially four on two soon. So the will move around the backside. Get a word up. Ramsey's is here to take out all the creeps though, but they are gonna go in. Waga does have the damage amp, gonna come in. Torrent's gonna wash him off. Nice hook long distance. Set it up very easily. Now he's gonna get rotted to death, but here comes everybody else. No one getting the entire combo on Waga, forcing two away, and they're gonna get Cole with everyone else. This pretty much brought everybody up here. and Level Up are too far behind to do this. Pearl Strike will miss. Emperor will probably just go ahead and buy out and get himself... Uh, well, okay, no real buyout there. So he's gone. That was a complete wash. They got nothing for it, and they lost two. First ten kills look to be going smoothly towards Virtus Pro in this game. Still not even sure who got the first 10 kills in the, in the first game because it was 7 to 8 and there was a fight for a tier 1 tower and then literally both teams got 3 kills. This is, uh, I think, this is going to put, like currently level up are 2 and 6 on their competitive career right now. They're just not having a good run so far. they got to tighten the screws a little bit. DNZ because haste and repel so the general's like, okay, that's not, nothing going to happen there. No one is getting a little bit more in the farm column. We'll see if he just winds up doing a doing a blink dagger and just start assassinating people, or if he's going to go for maybe a drum for a little more push. Level Up actually built two drums defensively last game. Fortunately, one of their big X factors here is uh, not level 6 yet. Take a look at the levels here. They are really struggling here. They're Kunkus 3, they're Omnis 4, and they are pushing towers without much remorse here. All right, so it is a drum, but it's going to be picked up by General instead. No one, that frees him up a little more for the Blink Dagger if he wants to go that route. Cole does pick up seven, man. He's, oh, he's struggling too. This just seems so weird. So weird. This draft is so weird. I mean, this experimentation, level up, know that they're not going to be moving on. They, they're pretty much, it's, it's done. They're, they're done. I mean, this is their last game. Whoa, lift up, drop down. Is he almost level 6 on that? Yeah, he's just like, I need the creeps, guys. Come on. So still level 5. Relocate gank does come out, and he's going right back to the jungle. Looks like he's going to go for the blink dagger. 
as well as the top tower going down. It's down to just their mid, which has already taken a few hits. No oh, Emperor. This not even a relocate gank. Just blowing them up. Tethering them up, blowing them up. And the fact that these guys are just not level 6 yet is hurting them really bad. This might... Oh, man. They are tilting so hard. DMZ. Oh, nice crush by Waga. is going to get all three, but he's going to get the counter throw. Poon's in trouble here. He does get the dismember off, but unfortunately that... It's a huge epi. Does wind up blowing them up beforehand. They're just so far behind struggling here. Crush for one. Everyone else was just... They moved out of the way for the crush and then went back in. Nice play. No one... Oh, Cole will get the kill on no one. A huge kill that they needed, but they're going to lose three for two so far. Potentially four. Emperor does have X coming up soon. He's going to get it on Ramses. Buy some time for Cole. Looks like Upheaval's not going to do much against Cole. Whoa! Doesn't need it. Burl Strike's going to pick him off anyway. And that's going to be five dead. Here comes the first rock of the game. That's going to be five for, I believe, three altogether. This is just looking very grim. First ten kills for Virtus Pro. Clear winner on that one. And they're going to get to work on the final Tier 1 tower. They do have Glyph, so that'll buy a few more seconds. That's about it. Moving in deeper, the Moink has only about 800 gold to go. It's going to make things even worse. I mean, you can't just spam Repel for days, especially when it has such a big gap right now. You have a 6 second gap. And you don't have exactly have a ton of mana on this Omni Knight, so... That's plenty of opportunity for the Blink Assassination to come in. A little few seconds left on this golem, they'll go ahead and hit the tower with it. They might just go ahead and double down and go for it. Looks like they want to. Solo's a little low on mana. They're going to respect it just enough. Respect it just enough. A lot of time, a lot of space being bought here. Looking pretty grim. This is looking like almost a thousand gold lead per minute. Looking pretty bad. That's a really early lead. Tons of experience going their way. Uh, Cole did pick up a huge kill in that fight, which keeps him in it, but he's still way far behind. Waga is incredibly far behind. He's almost out of it. He's almost 2-1 to one, uh, against him with the net worth. He does have treads, a little bit more tank, but just so tough to deal with this. This draft is so weird. This draft is so weird. Oh, relocate coming in. They're able to just casually relocate with three, with three people. In general, just kind of hold his ground and continue pushing while everybody else heads out of here. Ramsey is also here to back things up, but it wasn't even necessary. Another 500 gold swing going their way. So, what's next for level up at this point? I mean, they're trying their five, man. They're doing their best. The best thing they could hope for is a smoke gank and a couple, a couple good hooks under a tower, maybe, and hopefully some good tier three defenses, but they just found Cole. Tether in, gonna make things even worse. General does not have blink yet. Nobody has blink, I think. Ramses doesn't have it. They're all built defensively. They're built for, they're built for endurance in these team fights. So t catches are gonna be a little harder, but they don't even need to catch as much. They can just outfight them. They can just outman mode them. And people will slow things down a little bit more. Fight kind of resets, and this is like one of the few opportunities that level up are gonna have to get a gank, get a kill, but it's not close to any towers. They need the tower advantage, they need the armor, they need the damage from the tower. They need even a tier three, whoa! Picking them off, there goes Waga. DNC is just pretty much gonna go down here. Burl Strike goes right through the repel, but here comes the rock connecting on two, up the stairs, blowing up three. General picks up uh, four or five kills in a row, and unfortunately, what happened to, what happened there? Pudge blows up in midair. He was completely cut off from his teammates. What are we watching, guys? What the hell are we watching? That's it. Good game call. They're in full tilt mode, and they are done. Guys, uh, quick game is quick. Quick game is very quick. The question is, why, is, why did it go down this way? Well, to put it this way, Virtus Pro... They brought their A game because they were one game away. They needed a 2-0 this, and they needed to, to win so they can move up to the the excuse me the the tiebreaker. We've got Fantastic Five, we've got Elements Pro, and now we got Virtus Pro uh, moving on for a tiebreaker that's going to happen tomorrow. We'll figure out the times and stuff and let you know. But yeah, with uh, big tiebreaker action going on. Unfortunately, that also meant that uh, Level Up were out of this running right here. They were two and six total in their competitive career going into this. Very, you know, brand new team and everything. They still ironing out a lot of kinks and stuff. And they knew they weren't going to advance. So they, they basically just said, okay, we're going to play around. We're going to have some fun, experiment. 
and nothing worked out and that's pretty much it so that's it guys this is my debut cast uh, unfortunately it was a wonky first game and a complete stompy second game but hey it is what it is uh hopefully i'll see you guys again for some more bts and we'll see you guys in the playoffs uh soon <laughs>